All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, I'm starting up pretty much just after I'd finished uh, the boss, or the Ghost of Marowak boss, and uh, I'm facing these last couple of Team Rocket grunts at the top of the tower. Uh, I haven't finished them off just yet. Uh, I've actually just taken down the second guy, but the reason I'm starting the video here is because, as you can see, Dratini just got uh, to level 41 here, and it wants to learn Dragon Rush, which is... yeah, I'll take that move. So let's get rid of Agility because I don't see me using that. Um, da -da 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 -da. Dratini forgot Agility, and Dratini learned Dragon Rush, awesome. Uh, Dragon Rush versus Dragon Tail, uh, it's just a matter of power, honestly. Alright, and accuracy. I want to make sure that if I've got a move that's gonna hit and the enemy only has a few hit points left, might as well use that instead. Sometimes it's okay to have two of the same type of move on the team. Alright, Dratini evolved into Dragonair. Now, I gotta start thinking, Pokemon are good at making money, you stay out of our business. I gotta start thinking about the next region, in Unova. There is a gym leader, the fifth gym leader, and he uses ground type Pokemon. And only Pokemon up to level 34 will uh, listen to you in that region. Now, I think pretty much the only Pokemon on my actual main team that would listen to me in the Unova region is going to be Arcanine. Like, Arcanine is going to be a star in that region. Uh, but until then, I'm pretty much going to have to rely on nothing except Arcanine and Electabuzz for that region. And that's going to be a problem for me, uh, unless I've got like a good water or grass type. Um, so I could just end up using that... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Azumarill, Azuril... Yeah, uh, whatever, y you understand what I'm saying. So that, that water-type bunny thing that sucked at uh, Misty's battle. Hopefully it'll do a little bit better. But I should be thinking of backup plans now. So that Bulbasaur that I got at the beginning of this journey, I'm thinking that since I have extra experience that I can use or kind of move around, now that I've got uh, Matang and uh, Dra Dragonair, I might as well just have Bulbasaur, uh, or Ivysaur, gain the extra experience until it finally evolves. Um, anyway, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking here. So when I get to Koga's Gym or, and all the stuff before that, I'm just going to have other Pokemon take uh, uh, take the experience. Uh, I take down. Up, oh, that that killed me off. Huh? I didn't think it would, but that's okay because Dragoner gained the XP. All right. Yeah, so I think I am going to have Arcanine just at level 23, 24, so that after the first gym, she becomes useful in the, the Nova region. Alright, so let's get out of here. Thank you for beating up that spirit of the Marowak and so calming it. Everything is solved by violence in this game. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I want you to have this Poke Flute that'll make Pokemon wake up. Yeah, um, I'm going to try to get Snorlax as well, because having a Snorlax is the other thing that'll probably help me against the ground-type Pokémon. Not too terribly much, but, you know, it should be sufficient, I hope. Alright, so, Poké Center, first things first, let's heal, and get this mouse off the screen. And... Ivysaur, I guess you're coming out for a little bit longer. Uh, who should I switch it out with? I guess I'm done with these two, so take off that. Take off that. Mm. Alright, you know what? I will put Dragonair away, but I'm going to keep Matang on the team, because you know what? Matang will probably come in handy when I'm facing Koga's Pokemon. They're poison types, and I don't think that Koga's got any answer uh, to Matang, at least as far as his Crobat goes. So Matang will stay out front. Uh, but, uh, give that to Swampert, and give that to Ivysaur. Let's have Swampert take on, uh, Snorlax over here. Now, I've still got a bunch of Pokeballs, like 18 of these, a Great Ball, and this ought to be sufficient to get me at least one Snorlax. Uh... So, so we'll see what happens. So, gotta go down this path, gotta make sure I'm not seen by any of these freaking kids. Okay, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Alright, we're good to go. What's that? 
Huh, another great ball. Okay, that'll come in handy, I guess. And in this rock here, there's an escape rope. Don't want to miss that stuff. There's a bunch of other stuff I'm sure that I'm missing, but I'll just deal with it. So the reason I went this way instead of going West Celadon, hi, remember me, is because I want to get this item finder from this guy. Yes, I've caught 54 kinds of Pokemon. I have earned that item finder. This is why I caught so many Pokemon in Hoenn. Yeah, 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 get your bearings. So let's go to key items... Poke flute, town map, item finder. And let's put that up there. This isn't going to be useful for much, but it will get me leftovers from Snorlax. Yeah, so basically, um, Snorlax is just kind of lying there with a pile of bananas sitting next to him or something. I don't know. But he's got leftovers, like right in the spot where he's sitting. Gosh, I hope it's food <laughs> and not his pile of crap that he pooped out while sleeping. All right. So, Swampert, let's, uh, let's use Mud Bomb. Jeez, dude, that did nothing. How much defense does this thing have? Alright, I don't want Swampert to fall asleep, but I don't know if I really have any other usable Pokemon. Well, whatever. Let's use Matang's takedown a couple of times. Maybe takedown will do a bit more damage. Snore. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's raining. Alright, come on, take down... Boy, that did a lot of damage, and of course Snorlax uses rest. Don't have a Chesto Berry, please don't have a Chesto Berry. Okay, good, he doesn't have a Chesto Berry. So, uh, use a couple more takedowns. And hopefully this next one won't be a critical hit, and then I'll start uh, tossing balls at it. Still fast asleep. Okay, good. This is an optimal situation. Let's go ahead and use a Great Ball. Okay... Da! Dang it. Almost had it. He woke up and he used Body Slam, which won't do a whole lot to Matang here. Alright. Let's toss a Pokeball. I'll use my other Great Ball if I can get him asleep and down to this level of health again. Two shakes, three shakes. Yes! Alright! Boy, that actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Alright, so Snorlax was transferred to Box 1 Mild, which is kind of a crappy nature. You know, because I'm not going to be using that special attack and I'm losing defense, but... Wow, this is one of the worst Snorlaxes I've ever seen. It's got pretty good attack and absolutely nothing else. Man, it's not going to hold up very long against... Well, whatever. If I end up making use of it, then all the better, but I don't I don't plan on really depending on this thing. Okay, so I got me some leftovers now. Uh, just while I'm here, might as well talk to this guy. Tell me, do you love to fish? Grand, I like your style. Take this super rod and fish. So why take the old rod and the good rod when you can just go straight to this guy and get the super rod, you know? All right. Um, so now that that's accomplished, let's head on over to Celadon City. And since I've got a Snorlax, albeit one of the worst Snorlaxes of all time, I'm not going to get another one, so let's just go ahead and pummel through this next one. Uh... You know what, Swampert did a pretty terrible job, so... Um... Yeah, okay, I'll keep him out front just because... I don't know, he's got the amulet coin, why not use it? Okay, so Snorlax appeared. No, he didn't appear. He was there the whole time. Um, so let's just bust him up and... Maybe if I use a couple of rock slides on him, he'll get flinched and he won't be able to move anyway. Oh, look at that! Yep, that worked out pretty nicely. Let's use another one. Rock slide. Duck on it. What's rock slide's uh, accuracy? Accuracy 90. Well, it's more accurate than this ground type move. Alright, anyway, so I saw him use Yawn there, so I'm going to have to switch out to Matang. What? No! I don't want to see trade chat messages! Darn it. Back. Pokemon. Ah. Uh... Okay. Willing to buy leftovers. 30k. Hey, I've got some leftovers that I could sell you, but I'm not going to. How did I do that? Okay. Channel chat messages. Social. Okay. That, that's going to have to be good enough. Alright, Matang's takedown. He's gonna try to put me to sleep. Will I be able to take him down with this last takedown here? Uh... Alright, yes. There we go. Ivysaur grew to level 19. 
Alright, so Ivysaur is just going to gain quite a bit of experience from this last part of this run here. Uh... You know what? Put him with the Amulet Coin out front, but I'd better just focus in on Alakazam at this point. Alakazam's level 40, and I'm not sure I'm comfortable with that. Ooh, speaking of Amulet Coin... Hi there! Um, if you got 40 species, I'm gonna give you this Amulet Coin. Great, you've got 55 species, here you go. I guess I actually didn't need to uh, catch those bugs and evolve them, but I did. Alright, off we go to Cycling Road. Alright, so I gotta face these bicycle punk guys. What do you want? But uh, this shouldn't take too terribly long. So this is after you've now got the Poke Flute and can advance forward. So obviously their levels are going to be a bit higher. They're two pretty much the levels that Erika's Pokemon otherwise would have been if the developers hadn't messed with it. I wonder if one Shockwave is enough to take down Grimer here. Oh, nope. Yeah, it's a special defensive tank. Alright, well two Shockwaves. I kind of want to preserve my Psychics because I'm going to need all ten of them in order to get through this place. Uh... Actually, you know what? I got a power points up. I might as well use it. I mean, this Alakazam's with me for the long run, so why not? Psychic. Also, I might as well test a theory. If I were to use power points up while Alakazam's down at least one of his psychics, 9 out of 10, would it restore it? Alright, I'm gonna just take a look and see. Whoop, wrong one. Here we are, medicine. Uh, power points up. Use on Alakazam, Psychic. Okay, so now... Still got 9 out of 12. Alright, well that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward in the video here. So we'll get to the end of Cycling Roads and then... Uh... Alright, we made it to the bottom. And you want to be careful about this dude right here because, you know, he'll go around in circles and if he does spot you, he's got 5 Pokemon right at the end of this, this road right here. So... It's a pain in the butt to have to fight him if you're running out of, like, Psychics or whatever your move is. Uh, you know, what was I think? Three Coughings and two Weezings? It's pretty messed up, so, uh, you know, just be careful at the end of that cycling road. Alright, so, want to heal? Yeah, thank you for healing, hope to see you again. So, Alakazam's at level 41. I'm still tentatively, tentatively sure that this'll be enough to get through Koga. I mean, I've got a Swampert, so I should be alright. And, you know, Matang here. Between these three, it should be enough to get to Koga. Ivysaur, by the way, um, is leveling up pretty quickly. Uh, just keep that EXP share on it. So, before I stop this video, let me go ahead and show you guys what's waiting on the inside of this gem. So, it's a Poison-type gem, right? Hi there. Fuchsia is a tricked up place with invisible walls. He's close, but he's blocked off. You're gonna have to reach him. Anything about, you know, all the poison types here? I'll show you how strategy can beat brute strength. You know, poison this, poison that, but then whenever it's time to throw out Pokemon... Oh, what's this? A Hypno? Why is there a Hypno in this gym? I'm not gonna pretend to understand it, but it is what it is. So, anyway... Uh, will Shockwave be enough for this thing? And look at this! Alakazam level 41 versus Hypno level 38. Look what a jump that was! You know, just a minute ago I was facing Pokémon at like level 29, and now here's a Hypno level 38. Jeez. Okay, so I'm in for... Uh, let's see if I can just beat him with a Psychic here. It's same type attack bonus, so... Whoop, well, okay, yeah, that'll do it. So I'll run into one more trainer in here just to once more show you guys what else is in here. What? Extraordinary, yes. Alright. So going up. I was a magician, but I dreamt of being a ninja. By the way, before I start this battle, you can see the little blocks that are different and what make them invisible walls. They've got these little white things in the corners here. Um, the other normal blocks, they don't have that. So the, the wall is actually perfectly visible. Um, you just need to keep an eye out. Anyway, so there's a bunch of Psychic-type Pokémon in this Poison-type gym, but when I come back, I'll be facing off against Koga, so I'll see you guys at that point.